sponsored by Melton Industries. Bishop Carroll baseball was looking to go back to the state tournament this evening against the Newton Railers. Bishop Carroll led 1-0 through the first six innings. Then in the seventh, Newton nails a single to center, and the runner from second comes in and slides into home for the run. Now they are on fire. They hit another fly ball. That's enough for another runner to make it home for a score. But Carroll not making it easy. Reed Hainberg, he's going to end up hitting this one to the outfield. Luke Stuckey dodges the tag, and he's going to get home to score. That'll add one more after that. And the Eagles, they're state-bound 3-2, to two, the final score. In Goddard, the Lions took on the Andover Central Jaguars. Colton Watkins on the mound. He gets the swinging strikeout here. But moments later, there's two runners on for Drew Wilborn. He's going to put down a perfect bunt. Everyone is safe, and now the bases are loaded. Only one out. But just a few moments later, there's two outs for the Jags. They press the gas, pull a triple steal. The Goddard catcher can't hold on, and Braden Barzuski steals home for the first run of the game. But that would actually be Central's only score. Goddard, they're going to state after the 2 1 win. 5A softball, much like baseball, was owned by the Bishop Carroll Golden Eagles. They Two were the number one seed, and today they took on Mays High in their regional final. Campbell Reardon launches this one to right field. Outfielder had a play, but it lands in, and this ends up being a double and an RBI. How about some Natalie Thimish? She again this time at the plate. She too will go to right field here. The outfielder ends up dropping it. Another run comes in to score and Carroll dominates 10-0 the final. They are once again going to be at Wilkins Stadium at Wichita State for a chance at a state championship. Also in Wichita, Capen taking on Salina South. Capen here with the walk, bases loaded jam. That's not good. A run comes home for Salina South. Then they were feeling it on defense too. Araceli Rivas hyped after getting the strikeout to end the inning. Salina South, they end up getting the upset victory and their tickets to state are in the box after taking down Cape in three to one. Eisenhower softball also at home tonight taking on Great Bend. A chance at state on the line. Audrey Rumsey was throwing heat. Here she gets the strikeout and then Ike offense. They also came to play Carly George putting a jolt into this one. Thought it might be a home run for a second, but ends up getting down for an RBI double, and that would score Rumsey and Eisenhower. They cruise to state, find a 6-2 victory. We'll be right back after the break.